Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on square and triangle numbers. Square numbers. Square numbers are those numbers that can be represented by a diagram which is in the shape of a square. Consider the following diagrams. There's a square, one unit by one unit. And there's only one square. Here's another square, two units by two units. That gives you four squares. Another square, which is three units by three units to give you nine squares. And the last one is four by four, which gives you 16 squares. It is easy to see why they are referred to as square numbers. From a numerical point of view, the square numbers can be represented as follows. The first square number is 1 squared, that gives you 1. The second square number is 2 squared to give you 4. The third square number is 3 squared to give you 9. The fourth square number is 4 squared to give you 16. And the fifth number is 5 squared to give you 25 and so on. So they just keep continuing on. Triangle numbers. Triangle numbers are those numbers that can be represented by a diagram which is in the shape of a triangle. Consider the following diagrams. So here is a single dot that represents one. Here we have three dots. See the shape? That represents three. Here we have six dots arranged in that format. You can see the shape of the triangle. Here we have 10 dots, and here we have 15. They're like special balls, and there are 15 of them. It is easy to see why they are referred to as triangle numbers. From a numerical point of view, the triangle numbers can be represented as follows. So the first triangle number is 1. The second triangle number is 1 plus 2 to give you 3. So there's 1 there. And those two, that gives you three. The third triangle number is one plus two plus three to give you six. One plus two plus three to give you six. The fourth triangle number is one plus two plus three plus four to give you ten. And that's that shape here. One plus two plus three plus four to give you ten. And the fifth triangle number is those numbers added together to give you fifteen. Now this is a very special setup here. There are fifteen. And these spheres or small balls are red. And that is a very popular game played all over the world. And I'm sure you know what that game is. And so on. So you just keep adding on the numbers and you can get very large triangle numbers. Example 1. What is the sum of the first four square numbers? So the solution is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16. Because it's 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared and 4 squared. When you add those up, you get 30. What is the tenth square number? Well, the tenth square number is 10 squared. That gives you 100. What is the sum of the first five triangle numbers? So these are the first five triangle numbers, as we saw on the previous slide. When you add those up, you get 35. Write an expression for the seventh triangle number, what is it? You add all those numbers up there. That'll give you the seventh triangle number. And it is 28. So they're very, very straightforward examples of two special types of numbers. And they're very interesting and it's, it's really good to understand. <laughs> 